All right, so this video is gonna um, talk about how you can use one point perspective to draw a symmetrical form just like this. So there's a fire extinguisher, um, could be any type of a, could be a wine bottle, it could be anything that's cylindrical and um, round. So it's symmetrical on both sides with the exception of the other parts hanging off of it. So one thing I'm gonna do is just draw one point perspective on top of this so you can understand it. And then I'll draw it on here However, there's a way to even attempt a different approach to this for the purpose of the project. But first, I'm going to just talk about one point perspective. So the first thing you want to establish is the eye level. So where do you think the viewer's eye is looking at this object? The person that photographed this object, where do you think the sight line of, their, of the camera was? Um, and an easy way to figure this out is you're trying to find like the most straight line here. And if you look at the sticker right across here, it looks like a perfectly straight line. I could even run a ruler right across there. And it's almost a perfectly straight line. It actually um, curves it in this direction slightly. So that means it's a little bit above eye level. So somewhere right below, maybe like right here, I think would be a safe bet that this is the eye level. So it's nice to run that line in. That's gonna be your horizon line, um, which is the eye level. And that's where the vanishing points are, are going to lie down. But since this is just one point perspective, the vanishing point is gonna be dead center in this form. Since I have a ruler here and I can somewhat measure, it looks like right where the letter U is, oops, right below, is the vanishing point. So vanishing point's right here. What I'm gonna do next is, do you see on the X, this is an ellipse right here. I'm trying to figure this ellipse out and um, trying to figure this ellipse out here, uh, even though you can't see the back of it, the front of it you can see, and the side of it you can see right where it starts to transition into the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right, um, right where it, it starts to turn back in, I'm gonna put my pencil right there. I'm gonna connect it to the vanishing point that I just created, and I'm gonna draw a line. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, and draw a line. Um, other thing I'm going to do is right at the front of the ellipse here, I'm going to draw a perfect horizontal line at the end of this right here. And then if I were uh, drawing this ellipse, typically it's going to be the same distance on the back side. So if I were to draw this ellipse here, it's just gonna be the exact replica of what you see in the front and on the back. So I can somewhat guesstimate where that back line is gonna be. So I'm just gonna guess right here because I drew that ellipse in. Hopefully you can see that in the video. And right there, I'm just gonna throw a back line, line in. This back line right here, this is the base of the rectangle that, that I'm drawing and what I'm gonna do is draw a vertical line straight up. So with one point perspective, I'll just do something quickly on the side here. If this is my vanishing point, just forget this is separate and this is separate. And I have myself a, I'll just freehand this, um, a flat rectangle like this. Basically these two corners are gonna go to the vanishing point. And then I can end the rectangle here but if I want to make this transparent, I could pull the line down here. I could pull the line down here. I, um, so basically the, the distance of this dictates everything else. And then I draw a line here, I draw a line here, and then here's the back part of that rectangle. Same kind of idea here, except I'm starting with the top, I'm starting with the bottom. But all the other lines are vertical is what I'm trying to say. So this corner right here, I'm gonna take a, a line and draw a line straight up. Okay, same thing here. I'm gonna take a line and draw a line straight up. And I'm basically just using the ruler to uh, make it parallel to the, this form itself. And then I'm gonna take the back line and I'm gonna draw a line straight up. So it's very helpful to draw on top of your images that you print out to kind of get a sense of how this thing exists using perspective. Um, again, symmetrical forms are effective using um, two-point perspective or a one-point perspective. 
So there's that right there. Anything on the horizon lines is going to be a flat line. There's no dimension to it. You can't see a plane, a bottom plane or a top plane. But if we go up here, right where this thing starts to turn, um, I think I'm going to add, I'm just going to draw a straight line through that point, right where it starts to turn to the vertical line and it starts to curve out right there. I'm just going to throw a line in. Okay. I'm just going to call that the end of this form. And then I can always add on to this object with this top portion. So what I do now is I take this back corner, which is, I'm sorry, the front corner, which is right here. So I follow my pencil line and I put my pencil here and I'm going to connect it to the vanishing point. The general with perspective is parallel lines connected to the vanishing point. So now I'm taking the left corner and I'm connecting this to the vanishing point. When those lines intersect this line, I'm going to draw a line straight across. So it might be hard to see, but this basically is the top plane here. And it's really thin because it's close to the eye level, uh, meaning it's condensed in, in size. And this is uh, larger in size in terms of height because it's further away from the eye level. So anything that gets close to the eye level will usually condense, will condense in size. Not usually, it will. Um, so then you can just take this line out if you don't need it. And you can, you can see that back plane a little more. I can take this line out. I can take this line out. You can see that exists in space uh, much more. Um, and then, oops. There is an ellipse that exists here. It's super small. And you can't see it. it would be an internal ellipse to create volume within the form. To do that, basically, I'm just going to draw a different version here. So, um... It, I'm just going to make this a little larger here at the bottom and just do a quick mock version. Um, so if you have a shape that looks like this, right? Um, which is basically kind of like that. Same idea. Uh, what you do is you cross your corners. After you cross your corners, that finds your center. Um, in this case, we're not going to use the finer center, but in this case, we're just going to go down as much as you want to on one diagonal. So the center would be here. And you go down as much as you can on one diagonal, which is about right here. And then you run um, a square around it. It's so small, it's really hard to see. But so, for example, if I went down about this far on a diagonal, then I mark that point. I take my ruler and I go across perfectly horizontal until it runs into the other diagonal line. Then I take my ruler and I run it perfectly vertical down until it hits the other part. And then I run it across again and it should come back full circle right here. And then it comes right back up. Um, oops, I think I made a mistake. Reverse that, re reverse that. I was just thinking about something else. Um, once it runs here, good to make a mistake, then it goes to the vanishing point. So if I were to throw this vanishing point in, it would exist right here, because where the two lines meet is where the vanishing point exists. So then this comes back down and goes down. And this point goes to that vanishing point as well. And once they meet this line, then a line goes across and that's where they meet. That is where the ellipse, this ellipse that I drew in here, but down here, and there's a little tiny one up there that exists. This is how you would find that out. Um, and how to draw the ellipse. Uh, I mean, you can do, you can get very technical and divide this in half vertically, divide it in half horizontally, um, which I'm just gonna do really quickly. And then from there, you can just um, draw the ellipse. Remember, it's always going to be curving. It's always going to be... Um, turning. An ellipse does not flatline. An ellipse does not point. 
just a review with an ellipse. An ellipse does not do this. That's flat lining. Or nor does the ellipse point, and it's pointing. The ellipse is constantly curving, and the reason why it's nice to divide it in half vertically and horizontally is because you're going to get a, um, um, you're going to know where those points are. So when this curve around the side, you know where the, the center is, and, and then you're going to run that across that line. You know where the center is here, you know where the center is here. So it's a symmetrical shape. So that would be this section here. And then from, once you build this ellipse here, which I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw one in really quickly. Once you build this ellipse here, then you can just draw a line straight up, straight up, and try to get the ellipse up top, um, which will be a little bigger than this ellipse. Um, after you build this form, then you can go ahead and start to build this form on top of that form. Um, now, if you are drawing this in on a sheet of paper, it would be something like this. And remember, you're just using this. Um, uh, well, for example, if this, if this shape on your main drawing, um, is going to be above the eye level or below eye level, then you just adjust it accordingly. As long as you have this form, you know what it looks like, you can draw it in any perspective. Um, but in this case, if I were to just use this as my starting point, like my base, and I want my horizon line there, and I wanted to kind of copy this word for word, I would just basically almost copy what I drew here. Um, so that being said, horizon line, vanishing point, dead center. Um, I'm just gonna draw. How wide do I want this? And eh, let's just go about, well, I'm just gonna drop, drop the vertical line first. So I keep every, everything symmetrical. And then I'll use that vertical line to build from. And I'll just go maybe uh, an inch and a half in each direction. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go one inch in each direction. Okay, forget this. And I'll drop a perfectly horizontal line. Bring this to the vanishing point. Bring this to the vanishing point. So far, that's basically what these lines are here. I'm gonna keep this on this side, that way you can see it. Next thing I'm gonna do is, now, there's a way to make sure that this is a perfect square all the way around. It gets very technical. It's advanced perspective, there's a lot of steps, and it, for the sake of this drawing, I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is to try to kind of visualize half, or not half, but uh, um, assess using your own tuition what you think may might be a square. So if I were to crop this right here, do you think this would be square all the way around? Because basically this is a perfect square. Um, if this was a three-dimensional form, it's perfectly circular. A circle comes from a square. So if I were to draw a square around, this would be a perfect square. So what I'm gonna do now is just like, eh, I'm just gonna eye, and I'm using this as a guide. So, say, eh, this looks good to me. So I'm just gonna draw a line here. After I do that, I'm gonna draw a line straight above. What's nice about this graph ruler here is I can just use these grid uh, graph lines and line it up at the bottom of the paper, and that way I know I have a perfectly vertical line. Uh, take the back line here, same thing. Back line here, same thing. Okay, and then it looks like I go a little bit of above my horizon line, which is my eye level, and that's about right here. And again, I just guesstimated that, and we'll just call that the front of the box. And then we're gonna take that corner down to the vanishing point. Take this corner down to the vanishing point. And where this line intersects the back corner is where this 
see this horizontal line here? That's where this horizontal line exists up here and it's gonna create the top plane. And once I just erase a few lines, it'll make a little bit more sense. So I erase this line here and I erase this line here. Now at this point, you might say to yourself like, well, I don't know if this is the same proportion as that. Maybe I wanna go a little taller. Yeah, go for it. You just, we're just kind of eyeing through this really quickly. Um, you also don't need these lines. You can kind of lighten these out up a little bit. They're unnecessary at the moment. Um, but you can see your uh, transparent rectangle that exists to draw this form. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cross your corners here, the bottom, so we can draw this ellipse. And this one's gonna be a little easier than the top one because it's so um, small. And what I'll do here is um, after that, you wanna draw a line straight to the center. And nice thing, I already have a line here that was through the center because that was the first thing that I, that I did to build uh, equally on both sides. So I'm just gonna keep that. And then what, this is a nice little trick too. I'm just gonna take, make these little tiny like arches, baby arches right here. And then I do a nice little arc right here. And I do another arc right here. And notice I'm just trying to keep this like center right on that center line. I'm just gonna make that line a little bit more clear so you can see it in the video. And then after that, I will connect these guys. And this ensures me that I have this nice even transition, um, transitioning curving line. And it's not going to point or it's not going to flat line. So you can kind of see how I got a nice um, ellipse right there. And then you do the same thing up top. And I will say, huh, in this case, I might even I don't think I got my proportion correct. So right around here, I'm just gonna extend this past the horizon line. It's not a big deal. Um, I will just make this, this area here, and then I will add another section, and then I can just like um, cur curve it in. But in this case, just to draw an ellipse right here, I'm going to do it. Cross my corners. Cross my corners, that finds my center. Actually, I could just draw those center lines straight up from here and it all meets, that looks good to me. And then I draw a line that's center through here. And again, I'm using this graph ruler to line up with the existing lines there. And then I go through the sides. And then from this point on, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil because I'm getting super small here. And it's helpful to have a very sharp pencil. So again, I'm just doing a really subtle arc because this is a small, small compressed ellipse. So this arc is gonna be a lot more extended to the sides. And then I do a little tiny baby arc here. I don't know if you can zoom in with your computer, but you might have to so you can see this. And then this arc goes in here, hits the side. There's a uh, basically like a U-turn. Um, and it comes back on the other side, but everything is so slightly, constantly curving. There is no flat lines and there's no point. I can't stress that enough. Um, once you have that set, you can take this exterior line out here and connect it to the exterior line here and they should meet perfectly because this is drawn in one point perspective. And if I draw a line straight up, they meet perfectly. And you can notice that the exterior of the original cube is a little bit uh, shorter than this corner here because this corner is now eliminated. So that was once the, the width of, of the form, but now that corner is gone. So it's just the uh, widest part is the sides. Um, and that's why some of the shape gets uh, shaved off. So there's this here, I'm gonna just draw a line straight up and then that meets that point. And you can kind of see this cylindrical form in the center. And that's why I was suggesting instead of, um, I basically drew from here to here. I went a little bit above the horizon line. I altered it a little bit, not a big deal. I can always add this on. All I have to do is um, continue with this line, right? Um, maybe just go to about right here and just iron it, what I think the scale would be, 
you know, it's going to be like this. Now nah, maybe I'll go a little lower. Sometimes it's nice to um, sketch it in and be like, well, what if, what if this did this? Would that work? Did that feel about right? And, you know, of course it's going to go up, it's going to go down. So maybe about right there, I think is good. So then I'm just going to put that line here instead. So if that line goes here, the same approach, what I did here is what I'm going to do is connect my far outside corners to the vanishing point. And where, when it intersects the, the back line, which is right here, I'm gonna draw a line straight across, which is right there. And this is nice, it gives myself a bigger shape to work in. After that, I'm just going to clean this out, clean out this shape. Um, and then I cross my corners. Cross my corners. Oops. Starting to do this a little too fast. The center should be there. It just was a little off from center. Not a big deal. Um, now, basically what I'm doing is this little tiny ellipse that I drew right here before. I'm going to draw that right now. But in order to do that, I need to go in here and just guesstimate how big that is. And I'm just going to put a dot right here. Take that across to the other side, as I showed you before. Once it meets this line, it's going to go to the vanishing point, but it, you stop it where it hits that diagonal line. Same thing on this side. It goes to the vanishing point, but you stop it where it hits the diagonal line. And then you're going to take it across, horizontal line. And basically, here's your, where your little tiny ellipse is going to be. And instead of putting the vertical line and the horizontal, it's so small that I'm just going to I'm just going to throw in a nice little ellipse that I can just make a hundred of these. You can quickly do something like that, right? So this represents that right there. And then from the exterior part, all I can do is I can just kind of make a round. I just connect this here, but connect it to the exterior side. And then you do the same on the other side um, and just try to mimic the same look and if you can't there's ways to do that you can see where this intersects this guy here you just run that across to the other side you just do one side and then you try to mimic the same on the other side you're like oh, okay there's a there's a guide for me great and then it starts to kind of curl back up um and basically it's just what i would prefer to do is just throw a straight line in and after you put your straight line in then you can start to make it then you can curl it in, or if you want to put your straight line in a little, little bit more. Now, as I look at this, remember I just quickly drew that, and I'm looking at this. This neck seems to be a little on the thinner side. So I would probably go back, make this a little smaller, so I could draw my line up, and then eventually you would curl this back into it. But obviously this is a little, little thin. And then you have an ellipse here, which you can't really see, but then there's other contraptions that are, that this thing has. Um, and then you have yourself a fire extinguisher. Okay.